Hello everybody, what is going on and welcome back to the My Player Career Mode, episode 66 dropping for you today to enjoy. Hope you are all doing well as well as we show you the Premier League table. 32 games have been played, 6 remain as we are 6 points behind the league leaders, the undefeated Liverpool. And it just so happens we play them for the first live game of today. Following that, we've got two semi-final games as well. Both of which are in different competitions. We've got the FA Cup semi-final against City. And then to round off the day, it's Bayern Munich in the Champions League first leg. But before any of that, we've got to show you the highlights of our first and only post-con match in today's video. As we took on Watford, knowing that anything less than a win would realistically end our chances at the title. I still think they're very slim. But uh, yeah, we had to get the, uh, the result going into this, especially with that game against Liverpool coming up. And uh, we... Didn't really need to worry because we essentially dominated this game. Our first chance coming through uh, Rabiot with this shot here, saved by the keeper. And it happened that that was our only chance of the first half. But as we went into the second half, we then decided to turn on the style. Driving down the right-hand side here, 65th minute. Pulling it back initially to Munir, who had the shot. Saved by the keeper, straight to Martial. And he smashed it home to give us the lead. And... Martial as well had a pretty good game here, it has to be said. As a little bit of trickery opens up this space. Ball through. Not the uh, most difficult through ball in the world at all. Martial makes the most of it, though, as he goes on to score his second of the game. And he's on course for the hat-trick, it looked like. So, again, when we broke down the right-hand side, there was really only one player I was looking for. And uh, he was there, as you can see, making the run on the right-hand side of your screen. I made sure to, uh, to pick him out. And I've got to say as well, it's a very good finish because that came at pace, left-footed. He had to get enough on it to divert it away from the goalkeeper. And he does that and he will take home the match ball from game number one. But more importantly, we pick ourselves up the first three points of the day. And hopefully that continues. And uh, yeah, that's it for the only post match. So without further ado, let's jump over to the live games. Last episode, I gave you the opportunity to vote on whether or not we should join Barcelona at the end of this season. And 71% of you said yes. So we are going to accept this offer. And it makes it even more interesting now then as we keep our eyes on the La Liga title race. Because our former club might take it off our soon-to-be new club for the first time since uh, we left. Because every year it's been Barca topping the um, the Spanish league. And the one season they might not win it, they might lose it to our former team. So we'll, we'll keep our eyes on that. But for us then, we now go to Anfield. Where defeat will all but end our title hopes. You can see the standings as they are now. As Liverpool have just played their game in hand and won it. So they go back top on 89. Manchester City on 87. And we are on 83. So six points behind them. And we really need a win in this game. So without further ado, let's get into it. As we look at the Liverpool team then, it's pretty easy to see why they're top of the league. They've got quality in almost every single position. For us though, Martial leads the line following his hat-trick against Watford. He's been given player to watch heading into this game. So we'll look to him to be the man to score the goals for us. I would have shown you uh, the team selections before the game, but I missed them. <laughs> so... That's why I'm having to show you him in the player ratings bit. But yeah, this is a big game for both teams because elsewhere, Manchester City are playing against Sheffield United. So that could well be the game that City win. And if the result goes well for them here, they could be top of the league after this. Pedrosa, good control and the ball through will find us. First shot of the game, kept out by Alisson. Big save as well because I'm expecting this to be quite a low chance game. So when they do come your way, you need to really take them. And that is quality from Liverpool's goalkeeper. I mentioned the City game earlier. That is 1-0 to Manchester City right now. So they're already winning that one. And depending on goal difference, I can't remember who has the better out of uh, Liverpool and Manchester City. Uh, they could well be top, even if this ends a draw here. is another opportunity for us. This time, McTominay's diving header. Much more easy to deal with for Alisson as he catches that one. But... Think about this. If we beat Liverpool, and we need to really to keep our title hopes alive, we actually end up helping our rivals in City because that'll put them top if they can beat Sheffield United. And this could be the chance here. Pedrosa's in. And it is 1-0 Manchester United. Liverpool not started yet in this game. It's taken about half an hour for the first chance, but we've got three in quick succession and we've taken one of them. 
Pedrosa taps it home. And forget about me talking about, think about it. It is going to happen. If this result stays as is here and City win, we are helping our rivals to go top. Substitution at half-time for Manchester United as Mane comes on against his former club. Martial 1-2 and it should be 2-0. And that, my friends, might just be the goal that sinks Liverpool. Because this is, this is disastrous for them. Not only are they losing and allowing us back into this race, they're going to lose top spot. And heading into this game... I, I actually penned them in as slight favourites for this. That's quality, by the way. The little return to Martial with the, uh, with the right boot. Little back heel. And he finishes it off past Allison. Liverpool in need of some inspiration from somewhere as Naby Keita looks to provide it with a through ball to Mano Vallejo. Who did actually work De Gea, but he didn't work him enough. In the end, it was simply saved. It will be a corner. And that is their second chance, really. In this game, as Fabinho sends it in, but that shows you how bad they have been today. Straight into the hands of our goalkeeper, who can claim it and look to release as well. But straight to Keita, who plays a 1-2 with Salah and now looks to maybe get the shot away himself. Into our penalty area. Good ball through to Salah this, and that is a lifeline goal. 14 minutes to play. Inspiration provided by Naby Keita. And my friends, this might not be done just yet. Because Liverpool still have something to say about the game. Time is just not on Liverpool's side right now. As that ball into the box. He'll be a third for United. Sadio Mane against his former club. Not for the first time in this series. And he celebrates by running over. And uh, hugging his manager Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. It is Liverpool 1. Manchester United 3. I was going to say time's not on their side. Well the scoreline certainly isn't now then. As we do have our... Two goal advantage here restored. And that is a big, big win for us. What a finish, by the way, by Mane on the turn. I believe it's uh, City 2, Sheffield United 0. That was the last update that we got through. So, looks like it will be Manchester City heading top at the Premier League table with four games to play. Into the second of our three big games we've got for you today. Liverpool have beaten Middlesbrough 4-0 in the semi-finals of the FA Cup. So, they are waiting in the final. Now, for us, get past our Manchester rivals and we're in there. Let's see how this game goes, though, because it's not as easy as just winning, is it? Having just taken down that Liverpool team, I've got all the confidence in the world that we'll do the same thing here if we get this chance or it. Why is he passing it back? That's the decision-making that we've highlighted before in this series. Why would you pass that ball back as the, the chance actually might still fall our way? Thomas Muller here showing some great strength. What is happening? The ref's just given a penalty. So the, 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 the stupidness started with Munir laying the ball back towards us. And it continues with the referee pointing to the spot for this. EA, please. What's that? I mean, ultimately, we'll of course take it. And uh, as we look to score and slot home to give our team the lead up against Edison, which we will do, bottom corner, I'm not really sure what to say. It was never, ever a penalty. But then again, Munir should have shot. So maybe it just works itself out, basically. Phenomenal penalty, by the way. Bottom corner, no chance. Sent the keeper the wrong way. 1-0 Manchester United. <laughs> Good spell of possession this for Manchester City as Van der Beek ends it with a shot. And De Gea does what De Gea does best as he prevents the goal. But it is a corner ball then for us to defend. And five minutes away till half-time, there is time for City to use here to keep this pressure going. Bernardo Silva trying a bit of trickery as he weaves and gets past his man, Lamar, towards the byline. Looking for the cross now. He gets it in, blocked by Dallo. We've not touched the ball really since uh, that last highlight that you saw. Jota van der Beek, how has he saved that one? David De Gea is incredible. I mean, that should have been the goal as we now have a breakaway of our very own here on the counter-attack. A minute until half-time. Have we got the pace to get past Angelino? Well, he's with us at the moment. And no, we do not because he stops that attack before it really became dangerous. But that's two big saves from our goalkeeper. And he's got no right to make the second. Into the middle it goes. Doyle saved by De Gea. 
But not a silver slot, sorry, he's offside! <laughs> we have had one shot in this game, and it was the penalty. <laughs> it's just not working for Manchester City. Doyle shoots. He's on. Wait, is he on side? He looked on side. Or is it just me? But that looked like it was on side. I can't believe this. I, we're going to win the game having one shot and it's come from the penalty spot. Imagine how frustrated Manchester City will be after this. And I can't... How has that not gone through? How much added time we even got, ref? Because it's not even on the scoreboard. 92 minutes played so far. Van der Beek carries forward. Doyle is there for support. He's lost it, though. And there is the full time whistle we are into an fa cup final against liverpool having beaten city by a goal to nil and let's just say thank you david because he's the reason why as we didn't really even create a single chance to show you so you can imagine that they'll be a bit salty will uh will the blue side of manchester I take it back. We actually had two shots, but the sentiment still stands. We should not have won that game if we're looking at the match facts, but we did. So, yeah, happy about that. We can now move to Bayern Munich for the final game of today. It's our first leg in the Champions League semi-finals, and we'll probably need to play a lot better than we did there if we are to, uh, to get the result in this next game. I'm not saying they're a better side or anything by any means over, over City, but... Probably won't get away with it twice in a row. Have a look at the Bayern team then. And uh, notice Rashford is starting up front for them. Well, well, well. What a story we could be in for if he is the player to knock out Manchester United from the semi-finals of the Champions League. They've got some other really good players in there as well. But of course, he's the one that you're going to be watching, really. Um, especially with the ties that he's had to the club he's playing against today. Looking to attack down this right-hand side. Already is Martial. is in and he's got the opening goal here. Six minutes is all it's taken. And it's Manchester United's number nine who started the semi-finals off. Meanwhile, Bayern's number nine hasn't touched the ball. That being Marcus Rashford, of course. I, it came from nothing, I'll be honest. I did not expect us to score this goal. However, the cross from Kerrer is inch-perfect. Straight into Martial, who provides the finish with his head. Away goal already secured. Thierry Mann's looking out wide here towards Guedes, but we're quite happy for Bayern to have possession right now. They're not really doing a lot with it, and the way we've played today, we're pretty much playing like a counter-attacking team. We're just waiting to get the ball back, and when we do, we spring into life. And five, six passes later, we're pretty much getting a chance. That's how we're playing our style anyway today as that cross into the box from Grimaldo is headed out by Dallo. The Bayern fans still pretty happy though as they are in good spirits with this corner now sent in. Coman, the pie will head it away and I'm just going to try and keep hold of possession because there's no pass in front of us so we need to make sure we don't do anything stupid and we didn't. So yeah, 23 minutes left. 1-0 is fine for us. Mane in a little bit of space. Can he find a good pullback? We're on the edge of the penalty area. He does. There's the shot straight at the keeper. Martial will get the header though. And will it count? I thought there might be an offside flag, but no. And Bayern have just conceded a second away goal. And that could be crucial in this tie. I'm going to be honest. That was a, a pretty poor shot by all accounts. I was just testing the waters really to see if I could find the net. When it came in as well, they just didn't seem to react. Martial heads home. Manchester United have a two-goal advantage to take back to Old Trafford. And it'll be very, very interesting to see how Bayern turn up to our place then because they need to really go and attack. And I feel like with our defence playing the way it is this season, and when you've got arguably the best keeper in the world in goal, you're not going to get many chances. So are we effectively already in the Champions League final? That's the question. Robertson's ball into the middle. Benton Kerr's header doesn't find anybody in a red shirt. And that is it. Full time here at the Allianz Arena. It has finished 2-0. And this is a big result for us then to take back to our place. Let's see how the table looks today. And we'll sign off the episode after that.
the Premier League table then, as it stands, four games left, four points away from City, three away from Liverpool. And looking at the run-in as well, Liverpool have got to face Chelsea still to come for them. So that is arguably their toughest game. I think uh, City's toughest game might be Everton or Leicester, possibly. Uh, I know they're facing Leicester. We've already seen that one. Uh, they've got Cardiff and then... No, Arsenal as well. So in terms of league position, it's Arsenal. But I'd actually say Leicester could well be tough for them. For us, you know our run and it's pretty easy in terms of the teams we've got left. So we still need City to drop the points though. That, that's the big thing, right? It's not in our hands. And elsewhere in the Champions League, Atletico did actually beat Real in their first leg by a goal to nil. So essentially, the final is almost made up. And we really want it to be Atletico Manchester United. We'll see if it is going to be in the next episode. Until then, guys, a massive thank you for watching this one. If you have enjoyed it, a like would be greatly appreciated. As always, a huge thank you as well for all of your support on the channel. I really appreciate it. If you are new around here, like what you see, hit that subscribe button down below. And I will see you all for the next episode very, very soon. Until then, have a great evening. Have a great day, wherever it is you guys are. Stay safe, people. And I will see you all soon. Adios.